So Paul Kennedy, Vice President, Traffic Management Technologies at CAPS uh, from South Africa. Welcome uh, to the program. So could you tell us uh, how has a South African experience in ITS systems been, or how would it be relevant to the traffic challenges found here in the Gulf region? From what I've seen in Riyadh, the, the challenges they have are very similar to the challenges that we have in terms of driver behavior, um, obeying the law, etc. So I think it's very, very applicable. I think there's uh, a lot that Riyadh could probably do to improve road safety. Uh, they need to do some serious policing, need to, to get some road safety enforcement technology in place, because as I say, it's very similar to what we've seen back home in terms of driver behavior, and uh, one needs to reduce the amount of accidents, improve driver behavior on the roads. Mm, but that's a very good point. Now, from, from your personal uh, experience here at the IRF World Meeting in, in Riyadh, uh, well, it's, it's featured a number of sessions on ITS-related topics. Did any particular message or, or example of technological innovation strike you as particularly promising? Um, there were some very interesting talks that just proved that people face the same issues worldwide. Um, there wasn't any specific technology that um, I can say really made an impact. I, I'm going to one of the sessions this afternoon where they're talking about new enforcement technology which will be interesting but the interesting thing from the discussions is the the issues that we face mm. are pretty much faced throughout the world. I've seen um, presentations from people in Europe and the States and what they're talking about is very much what we have to address daily as well. Mm. So it's quite interesting that uh, road safety issues are very similar throughout the world. Well, you, you mentioned the uh, driver behavior being yes. similar. I, I suppose we, we don't have to interpret that as being positive. I, I suppose what, what exactly about this driver behavior do you think ITS could, could address? Um, number one is improve their, their habits on the road, the physical behavior of the drivers on the road. I've noticed here the guys tend to be quite pushy and mm. don't really pay that much attention to lanes mm. and, uh, and traffic signals. So they could do a lot to improve that. Uh, I don't know the statistics around accidents and road fatalities yet, but I can imagine that the accidents are pretty huge. I've seen quite a few near misses in the last two days. So I think there's a lot that can be done in just to improve driver and road user behavior. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I also just attended the session uh, where you were speaking uh, in cooperation with ITS South Africa. Uh, the question will be as complex as the answer, I'm sure. Uh, how do you see this, this paradox you were describing between technology convergence and institutional convergence? How would this uh, impact uh, or could it impact uh, the Middle Eastern region? I think it, they'll have the same problems that we have is that ministries and agencies are focused on their portfolio and don't necessarily look at the greater picture. Mm -hmm. And technology as it is today is becoming more and more complex and we're seeing more and more technologies being brought into a single end-to-end -end solution. For example, um, you could have tolling that includes road safety enforcement, it could include payments, it could include automatic number plate recognition for billing purposes. So that kind of technology requires a number of different agencies and ministries to talk to each other to make sure that the technology is accepted and takes off. And I think like anywhere else in the world you'll find that the agencies or ministries are focused on their specific agendas and their specific priorities, which is not, not wrong. Um, that's what they were formed for, but it needs everybody to move that one level up where they look at the national interests as opposed to individual interests. So I would presume it's very much the same here. Okay, then, well, Paul Kennedy, Vice President, Traffic Management Technologies at CAP, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Very much.